All right, we're back with some of this Eminem Benzino drama. Yeah. Uh, so the last video I did, you know, some people didn't agree with me in there in the comments when I said I don't think that Benzino wrote that rap, rap Elvis, and I, I don't think he even rapped it, you know, because because I'm saying he, you know, he could have used that that AI stuff and just made it easy, right? had somebody else rap it and they just ate out his voice over it and, and that could, that's as easy. That'd be easy for him, you know, I'd do nothing. But guys, I could be wrong, all right? Just throwing stuff out there. Just join your conspiracy theory world that you're in. <laughs> so I'll throw another one out there. I might be right. I might be right. But, um, but this one right here is uh, Kyle Cobain <laughs> by Knox. Hill, you know, another reactor, you know, he's, uh, uh, Knox Hill's got a pretty big following, try to catch him, that's gonna be kind of tough, but, uh, 1.14 million subscribers, and apparently he came out with, a uh, a distro Benzino, you know, and I listened, actually, um, I gotta be honest, when I first heard Knox Hill stuff, uh, a while back, I wasn't digging it. I wouldn't, it wasn't for me. It wasn't, uh, you know, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't for me. Okay. I mean, you can respect people's skills and stuff like that, but you know, some things, you know, it, it doesn't fit. And that's, and that's the big, big controversy over Eminem. You know, a lot, uh, a lot of people say, well, they don't hear, listen to him in the hood because they don't identify with Eminem's music, right? It's not something that they're gonna have, they're gonna be rolling around with. It doesn't mean Eminem isn't great, you know? And that doesn't even mean, mean Eminem's not the GOAT. Because it's not only people in the world, in the uh, in hoods that are listening to Eminem. So, anyway, so I did a, um, a reaction on Knox Hill, and he did, he did a song recently, and I was, I was really, really impressed. I was like, well, you know, maybe I was wrong about this guy. You know, he, he, he you know, he, he's got skills and he's young too. So, so anyway, let's see what he's doing here. Apparently, he's pretty good at uh, doing this this diss track stuff. So, let's go. <laughs> yeah. Why'd you have to go after reactors? Oh. oh, so he's, he's talking about, because, uh, oh, oh, so Cliff Beats, uh, apparently he says that, you know, Benzino's trying to take his channel down, trying to get his channel to you know, give him strikes and stuff like that. I don't know, I, I'm not even sure how he, he came to that conclusion, because I know when you, when you, uh, go to monetize, do a reaction. A lot of times they just won't let you, right? So what you do is you dispute it and within 30 days, if they don't, you know, do nothing, you can collect revenue on it, but they could dispute that and then you can escalate it. But when you escalate it, you're risking a strike. So I'm wondering if that's what he's talking about. That's what I thought. I guess I should look a little bit more into it before I act like, I know what the hell I'm talking about. But now I get it, right? Why are you going after reactors? See me, I'm a GoPro. Zeno got that coke flow. Leeching for a promo. You high up, but you so low. Oh no, about to blow. Only lines you making is the ones that's going up your nose. Whoa, I know that you're faking and you struggle for them O's. Keep on hating, can't get famous, so you pay him, but you short. I know I'm white, come get a sm Wow. Man, just from the get go, man, he's he riding that beat well. Yeah, I like it. I like it. I like the way he's coming at that. It sounds different from... It's crazy. It's like day and night. It's like I said, stuff I heard from him before. And this is day and night. I think this is his pocket. But we're going to go back in there so I can just listen to exactly what, what's he talking about. It's going up your nose, whoa. Zeno got that coke flow. Leeching for a promo. You higher, but you so low. Got that coke flow. You're higher, but you're so low. You're higher. 
Yeah, that's that Entendra stuff, right? You hire. Probably you hire a ghost rider. But you're so low. You know, you're just low. Oh no, about to blow. Only lines you're making is the ones that's going up your nose. Whoa, I know that you're faking, then you struggle for them O's. Keep on hating, can't get famous, so you pay them, but you short. I know I'm white, come get a snort. Shit, I could write you a retort, but you would bite it, then record. I know you like to be enforced. I ain't caring what you sharing in your little white couple whore. Now, if I made Dave, oops, I mean Bray, I got the sauce, I mean the source. Come read this, I got an issue, dick. How many mics? Some stuff about the source magazine right there. I got the sauce. Sauce, that's Eminem. Wrap this. Um, and the other, I think that that was the other owner of the source. Five mics recorded for your dish. Your views was falling off a cliff, so you tried to cancel him? Shit. Yep, Dead out through yeah. the math then. Check out, it's a half ten. Tell me what you have then. You were just a has been. Living in the past, Ben. Sam Darnold seeing ghosts. You gon' dead who? I need confessions in the booth. It's funny what that debt do. You getting head before you blow, dog. That's a red roof. Make your bed, go get a room. But one bed for two, dude. <laughs> I seen that. I seen that, uh... The video, man. Yeah, I don't. I would have never thought he he was going that route, but you never know, man. Nowadays, you never know. One bit for two dudes. How I, I'm trying to figure out how you can justify that. One bed for two, unless you're just strapped for money and you need to get the one bed. You know, one one person sit, you know, gonna lay on the ground. Another one's going to use the bed. Uh, but apparently he's balling. So, well, that's what he says. He's balling. Quit the snoring while you snooze. I know you've been used to it, so keep whoring out for views. You hate M because of color. You distorted out the truth. Do you hate him because he's different or he's a quarter of you? <laughs> he's a quarter of you, you know, because he's supposed to be white or part white but he says he's not at all he's i don't know you distorted out the truth do you hate him because he's different or he's a quarter of you dice lo que quiere pero todo es mentira robando la cotora tu no eres un boricua if you want it i'm the one benzino ben zero mention m for the dinero pero tu tienes cero damn he was spitting some spanish right there he did good I would never thought he was a white boy. How did he? He knows Spanish? Let me know if uh, Knox Hill can speak fluent Spanish. If he can, that's impressive, man. That's impressive. Chuck was out the Stevie Isk Knight. Chuck was out the Clifford doing right. Shout to AR, got the sight. Yep, there you go. Steve Knight. Stevie Knight. Reactor. Cliff. Beats. Reactor. Um, I don't know who the other guys. Who wrong but copyright? Now that Pegasus in flight, you wanna Pegasus on these heights, but you flawed. You could get nicked by these reactors for the lines. You already got no life, but those millies on your mind. You sell ticks but drop no dimes. Seeing green but got no shine. I know who's lurking out of sight. It must really hurt you that the best boss in rap is white. And that was just a warm up. Uh, <laughs> you know it's bad when you're getting dogged on by a YouTube rapper, bro. Nasty knocks. Man. See, it would have been fine if you didn't try to censor us. Good luck striking this one though with no pen. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck striking this one though with no pen. That's a dig at you know. He's he gotta hire somebody to do his raps for him or uh, write his raps for him. Man, nasty knocks, which he which he calls himself. Man, get, you know he, he's getting my respect, man. You know, not that I'm anybody, you know, that he has to impress. Let's get that right. Who am I? I ain't nobody. But I'm a, you know, I'm a fan, right? I'm, I'm actually an actual a listener that f finds music that he appreciates. And I'm appreciating. I'm appreciating that. You know? I'm curious to see more from, from Knox, man. Anyway, and he's, he, he's, uh, he's good at what he does. He's good at what he does. And he, he killed it on this. And poor Benzito. Everybody's coming at him. 
everybody's coming at him, man. It's crazy, but it, he keeps on like he keeps on egging that shit on. I mean, damn, dude, really? How you want to go? How you want to go out? You know how you want to go out? You act like that everybody's got your back, right? That you're doing it for you know your people, you know, um, the culture, you know, um, black people. You're doing it for them. You're, you're their savior. That's what you think. Yet I don't hear a bunch of people, you know, backing you up. Very few trolls in the comment sections, sections and stuff. You say, we, we, we got a crew. We got a team. I never see no team. It's just you, man. It's just you. And, man, and if, th if, just, if this is just a money grab thing, then, hey, man, that's hustling. And I respect that. I mean... I mean, damn, that's a hard hustle, though, isn't it? Be most hated. Listen, man, Eminem, regardless of what anybody, you know, I, I had a d debate. I debated somebody uh, yesterday off a video I did. Um, and I had mentioned something about, I thought that, uh, you know, it's probably a battle rapper that, that wrote the, the rap for him. And Cassidy, you know, maybe, maybe not. Just what I'm thinking, guys. Just what I'm thinking. I could be wrong. But then I said, you know what? I mean, that's kind of shady, you know, that a battle rapper would be coming at him. Because, you know, battle rapping is as popular as it is nowadays because of Eminem. And so, you know, Commodore had said... You know, not, you know, how can I say that? If I knew anything about hip hop, then, then I wouldn't be saying that at all. That you know, battle rapping was way before Eminem. That's not, that's not what I. But that's, that's it. I'm, I'm not trying to say Eminem started battle rapping. Of course, he didn't start battle rapping. But what Eminem did before he hit the scene with the skills he had. Everybody wanted to know his background, right? His background was battle rapping. Okay? But guess who his audience was? Majority white people. Majority white people. You know why? Because how he approached the game, you know, he, he, he caught the ear of white people. And white people were in masses. Especially here in the United States of America. Masses. So, so when he, he got the air of white people, the average white person did not play hip-hop 24-7. The average white person did not. There was, there was the few, slim few, like myself. Okay? And yes, there was rappers. There was rappers that were white before Eminem. But they didn't... They didn't... Um, do what Eminem did. They didn't have it. They they were white. They rapped. They had an audience, but the audience was hip hop audience. The audience was hip hop. Majority black people, Mexican people, some white people. All right, and um, and the white people that were listening were hip hop. They were in that in the culture, you know, like myself. So, you know, third base, you know, uh, Everlast, uh, Beastie Boys, um, man, there's more than that. Some popular ones, right? Okay. Yeah. Hip hop, the hip hop culture knew about these people, but the average white person wasn't listening to hip hop until... Eminem came along. Eminem came along and blew the doors open. Blew the doors open by what he's talking about. More, you know, white people can relate or be entertained by it. Right? And uh, he brought a huge, huge audience. He, he, because of him, I believe, is why so many people can be wealthy off this nowadays as far as the rap, rapping. Right? And not just black people. White people. 
uh, you know, Mexican people, everybody. Okay, it's worldwide. Okay, I think it's largely to credit Eminem, man, because I was rapping years before Eminem. I mean, probably ten years before I ever heard of Eminem, before he came on in on the scene. I was right, and guess what? I felt I felt it. I felt that you know he's the white boy rapping. Nobody took me seriously, you know. And the white people, you know, white the white population, they all looked at me as wannabe, right? I look at me wants to be black, you know. So they weren't they weren't hearing it. They weren't listening to hip hop. They were only listening to the mainstream stuff like Baby Got Back stuff that they play on the radio. That's it. Right? They weren't buying CDs and playing them back to back like they do now. Eminem did that, guys. Whether you like it or not. Whether you like it or not. Because I was able to see it through both lenses. Okay? Right? So, I was in the hip-hop culture, you know. But then, being around white people also and seeing, you know, what their opinion. And everybody knew. In the 80s, come on. Early 80s. 90s, same thing. Not till Eminem hit the scene with Dr. Dre, things changed. So, give them some credit. They don't want to do that. Anyway, that's it for this one. If you like that stuff, this stuff, let me know. Subscribe, comment. See you in the next one. Why'd you have to go after reactors?